Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. In the last video, started running some planetary missions. Also, got the groundwork laid for the Omega Telescope. Problem is, I'm running critically low on a lot of my materials. I do have the IMM rocket trade going on right now. Maybe trading concrete because I'm running very low on metal at the moment. Also have this RC commander that needs to come on down and repair my RC transport, which got knocked out in, uh, I don't know, one or two videos ago. Here we go. That's the exact plan that I totally did not mess up a minute ago. Okay. Recall the drones. And you are going to go... I already salvaged this guy, the one that got blown up in the last video. Or a couple videos ago. That really pissed me off. Yeah, it looks like we got that taken care of. And so this guy... Resources are low. He's gonna come around this way. Okay, looks like that RC transport's kind of done down here. He's gonna run off. I like it. All right, we do have an O2 leak, which needs to be fixed right away. I do also need to get some more metals going because this is not good for me. 650 out here, 660 over here. I think. Hmm. That is a good deal. Well, the Omega Telescope's all fine and dandy. I'm wondering if I actually need to pivot and actually go back for the molehole mine, because that would alleviate a lot of my problems. Let's actually do that. I don't even have... Actually, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I do need micromanufacturing and 3D machining done. I think I need to get that done a hell of a lot faster than whatever I was doing. All right, I got a notification in the underground. Let's go take a look down now. Got another Mars quake. Got another cave in. Does not affect me at all. Go ahead and grab RC Explorer 2, RC Commander 2. Pack your stuff up. We're going to head over here. There's something over in this area. It says the pit. I don't know what the pit is, but let's actually explore it in this video. We also have our RC transport. That was blocked off by this cave-in. This is where the supports are going to be coming in handy once I actually decide to build those things. But RC, let's see, support struts is up here. Yep, yeah, but it takes five exotics. Five exotic metals or five exotic minerals to build those. I don't have the recon center yet. I'm going to get that eventually. I just, with all of the things that need to be done, it's, it, there's a lot to be done here. And I would love to the 30, yeah, two polymers. I could actually put a few more light tripods down, just kind of light the way, but eh, same time. There is also a lot of capacity for, wait, what the hell was that? Something just popped up. Resources are low. Dumping. Oh, again? <sighs> Son of a bitch. IMM is doing a trade is doing a trade war. Okay. What's the what's the export price right now? It is thirty five. Okay, let's actually go for this one. So we'll lose a bit on the rare metals price, but we're gonna get the advanced resource price uh, bonus as well. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. But I kind of have to go with it. Damn it, again. This is the second time I've had a, uh, the dumping scenario come up on me in a single playthrough. I'm kind of pissed about that. Um, okay, this needs electronics. So yeah, we really need to get electronics Media going incoming. right now. Mother. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Dick. Alright. I'm also going to bring... I'm just going to keep him down here. Resources are low. Okay, and I'm also going to drop down a just straight metals depot down here. That way, when Hey Hey decides to... Actually, no, I need to unautomate you, because as soon as this dust storm ends, you're heading off. That. We're low on a lot of stuff. Understandable. Uh, let's see, water. Okay, 
Cut power. Let's cut the refineries off for the moment. Hmm. Yeah, so export price is now 26 million. Definitely not going to be doing any. I don't want to be doing any exports while we've got that going for us. Same time, I need polymers, I need electronics, I need them bad. Ooh. So high-speed comm satellite would give us 300 sponsor research. Just take us 100 electronics, which is okay. That's what we're going for, Project Crossroads. All right, so we got Project Crossroads, we got the pit. And a lot of buildings are just like, hey, uh, can any materials do stuff? You've got factory AI going. But still, even with this, we're only producing you know, four electronics per day. We're critically low on materials almost everywhere right now. This dust storm has just been a pain in the ass, so let's hope this one ends and we can get back to work. Let's see, transport? Can you load? I can't remember what Crux 7 was going to do. And I also brought it down to the wrong spot because I'm an ass. Okay, I think this one is actually bugged now. Okay, let's cancel the expedition. There we go. That was weird. Okay, so yeah, I think Crux 7 was actually brought up to do an export. I have completely forgotten its purpose. So, we'll do Project Crossroads. We're going to send Crux back with a full load. And in the meantime, I'm going to trade this. We're going to do concrete Resources for polymers. Are yes, we are aware of that. We'll, we'll go on everything right now. Everything advanced is essentially non-op. Fifty conquer for twenty-one. I'll take it. All right, and we'll see what Project Crossroads has to bring us. Data dealer. Okay, we've discovered a derelict rover. And it's intact black box. The rover is a testimony of a long lost expedition to these coordinates. We haven't recovered any information. What do you suggest? So we can salvage the data in the black box. We can take the rover back to the colony or dismantle the rover. I've never dealt with this one before. So I'm actually thinking we salvage the data in the black box just to see what's in it. I don't want to take the rover back to the colony because if it's got something that can corrupt data systems, I'm going to salvage the data. Let's, uh, I should have really auto saved here. Oh, well, let's see what happens. The black box contained a virus. We lost 20% of our funding. Oh no! I lost 20% of $1.1 billion. No. No. What will I do? No. Oh well. Happens. I'm kind of curious what the other ones were. I'm kind of glad I didn't bring it back because I mean, I could have done a heck of a lot more damage. So, no well. C'est la vie. Alright, let's get Crux 7 back to Earth and recover some of our massively lost fundings. Okay, you're good. Get the hell out of here. And we'll bring back Crux 1, because it's going to have Hey Hey on board. Note, I've got a lot of facilities that are... Oh, wait. You guys need to be turned on, actually. We also need machine parts. I didn't realize this thing was full. Okay, you're going to go down there. We're going to head back, back downstairs. All right. So, Hey Hey is doing his thing down here. That's our RC commander. Let's actually go explore the pit, because I have no idea what's about to happen here. This says a giant hole of indeterminate depth. This could be the Cave of Wonders. I'm hoping it is. Let's just kind of bring this guy back just a little bit. He's still in range of case he malfunctions. But yeah, even a drone hub right here is like boom, 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 boom. And whatever the heck's down there. If there's more down there, I'll mon it. I also don't know what the heck that uh, little thing was. I've also got a bunch of machine parts down here. I need to get those upstairs. 
Where are those machine parts? Are they back here at the uni, uni Depot? Okay, we've analyzed the pit. Let's see what's going on with it. We discovered what appears to be an enormous pit. Okay. The engineers on location decided to run some rudimentary experiments to determine the depth of the pit. They've yet to hear any sound from the various rocks they threw in. Simple but effective. Some other engineers believe we should build a dedicated bottomless pit lab to find if the pit is bottomless instead of this more primitive approach. In the meantime, we can choose to keep running more low-tech experiments. The bottomless pit lab breakthroughs become available researchers to build on the bottomless Another pit and start time. experimenting. I freaking love it. All right, um, let's go over here and go into my research. There's the bottomless pit lab. <laughs> okay, okay. I needed to laugh this morning. Um, let's absolutely cue that up. I'm not going to go for it right away because I do need the deep metal extraction. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. All right, we'll scan this, then we'll head back upstairs. I don't know if the bottomless pit has to be built in the underground, if it could be built above ground. If it could be, able to be built above ground, that's all the better. I just, if it, it's requiring me to actually build more stuff down here, I'm going to be kind of upset because I'm not a huge fan. I'm really not. I'm trying. I'm really trying. But this is just not, it's a, it's a new layer of materials that can be mined out. That's what I'm, that's how I'm seeing this. So, mm. also, at some point, I'll uh, start doing that stuff. Oh, the engineers believe the bottomless pit lab is a waste of time. They're asking permission for another experiment. I put in the word, quote, we don't need a fancy building to toss things into the pit. Just give us something you don't need and we'll get results. We need at least 10 Waste rock stored at a dumping site. Anomaly found. Okay. Put it right there. Hopefully, uh, hey, hey, will do his thing. We're gonna do a flatten project out here. Let me, uh. There we go. 15 waste rock. <laughs> Suckers. I can do it right here. I don't think it was a. Uh, I don't think it was meant to happen. I don't think it was. I was meant to do the bottomless pit research. I think it was just meant to go. Oh, you need these. Here you go. Boop. I do have a uh, notification found. upstairs. Oh. Anomaly found. So it's just gonna keep giving us that notification until we get it. Are low. All right. Yes, resources are critically low right now. We're losing power on this grid. Funding received. Okay, let's actually see if there's any trades going. Let's see. IMM, no, they're being a bunch of dicks. BSC, contact. Take it. I've got plenty of concrete, but if they're gonna give me 600 whatever million for it, I'm gonna take it. Um, let's see. They got the 20% reduction in... Oop. Though more people would be kind of cool. Okay. So I need about 300 billion, unfortunately, to do the next high-speed comm satellite, or just get enough people up here, because I have... Yeah, you know what? Maybe a pasture rocket is a good idea. Oh, wait. Do I not... Do I not have any of those techs to expand the... And this cryo sleep. Didn't get that one yet. Hmm. I'm actually going to move Cryo Sleep up. Because if I can get Cryo Sleep in like two days, two, three days, then it's all the better. And you know what? Okay, they're doing exports. Sorry. Right, let's see what they got going downstairs. Found. We got 14 Waste Rock. Wait, can we find another anomaly down here? Not possible. The elevator has malfunctioned. Oh, that's just fun. Always something. So, I wonder if a scrubber would actually work to hook this guy up. Think about that right now. Hmm. Alright. So, we're doing the bottomless pit stuff. And let's see how this goes. Anomaly found. Proof by experiment, okay. Um, 
The engineers believe the bottomless pit lab is a waste of time. Uh, what should we do? Allow bottomless pit experiments to throw 10 waste rock into the pit. Unsatisfactory results. Um, we wait, waited a few seconds to hear something back. Seconds turned into minutes until our engineers finally lost patience. Even something as large as this did not result in a usable echo. Uh, the pit is extremely bad acoustics, or is indeed bottomless. Nevertheless, the engineers went back to the drawing board. They haven't given up yet. Research 10% of Anomaly the bottomless found. pit lab. Okay, that was nice. Move this guy out of the way. And so now it's, yay, 10% done. Haha, <laughs> suckers. One way to do it. All right, we'll go ahead and scan this guy. Where is, hey, hey. It says around here there are machine parts somewhere on the map. I just can't remember where I put them. Because according to this it says... Ah, there they are. That's helpful. I can't access it yet. But with more polymers I can absolutely do that stuff. But I have 20 polymers so in theory I could put 20... Uh, uh, what are they called? Anomaly found. Research complete. Research things. Um, a new experiment protocol has been drafted to put an end to the debate on the existence of the bottom of the pit. Let's deploy a package. Let's use a drone. One drone was thrown down into <laughs> the pit. <laughs> okay. It worked until it did not. <laughs> the drone sensors of light proved to be effective until the drone reached minus three kilometers. Many hypotheses were raised. Electromagnetic per perturbation, temperature, atmospheric pressure. One thing is for sure, we still have not heard any sound coming from the pit. And the hypothesis of it being bottomless is gaining traction. We've picked up chatter among the engineers that they believe the drone was just was not resilient enough. They are already plotting their next experiment. Anomaly found. Oh, good God. God. Okay, I'm going back upstairs. I, gotta, I, I need the second for that one. Oh, we've actually finished off this concrete deposit. That's nice. We do have another concrete deposit out here and another big one out here, so we can definitely uh, hook those up too. Now we have deep metal extraction available. This idea of a mining site is gaining some serious traction in my eyes. Let's actually see what needs to be done to build one of these. I'd probably put it right here. So we can actually cover all the sites simultaneously. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously? Oh, wait a second. I have three RC Explorers, don't I? Bye-bye. <laughs> Get the hell out. So I just lost RC Explorer 2. Plus, my collaboration loss just went down. Okay, so we're going to put a metal... We're going to put one here... One here, one here. I'm just going to do one of these guys. And this is a 3,000, by the way. Whoa, Mars Quake. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do the underground, see what's going on here. Research is an art form. Hey, 50%. This is one of the weirdest things I've done in a while. I'm not going to lie. And it was the RC Explorer that was down there. That got tossed. That just got dumped into the pit. Is the RC Commander they asked for next or some people? I'm going to say no. So we're doing cryo sleep. We're going to get that done next. We really desperately need electronics right now. And I think I'm just going to have to bring up a rocket full. Wait a minute. He is returning. Perfect. Okay. Okay, bring that up. Right, so I was doing a... Uh, what's it called? What I'll do with this, just because I'm doing all my trades off of here, is I'll bring this rocket down here with all the electronics, and also realizing that this whole thing has gone offline. Christ. Wow, this entire facility's gone offline. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Also, it can be repaired up here with a machine part. So, okay. Slight issues. Um, can you just come and, like, just dump all your waste rock right there, please? I actually think that the RC Dozer just stopped working because it got bored. 
on this one. Not too happy about that, but I've got some, uh, I've had some good giggles with the pit. So it seems like that for the cost of 10 waste rock, one drone, one RC Explorer, you can cut the research by, mm, it seems like 50%. Okay, now please go back and do this. There you go, stupid. Waste rock numbers jumped oddly there. Okay, he's heading back. You're loading up the concrete. We've got plenty of fuel. Not nearly enough electronics at the moment. I need the little drone that could. Come on out here. Hey, there's that auto save I was looking for. All right. Oh, um, good God. What the hell is wrong with me right now? Um, this is the first video. Ooh, excuse me. This is the first video I've recorded since I started my new job at my company. Um, actually got a promotion uh, last week. And uh, instead of working on auto claims, I'm actually teaching people how to deal with auto claims. It's actually a pretty huge step up. Because for, to move into a leadership role in my company, you have to you essentially have to start training people first. And now that people are, I'm able to train people, it's going to just kind of raise my stock with the company a little bit. And when I do go up for being a supervisor, hopefully in the next year at this rate, I can uh, get that done all that much faster. Do so you have any power? No, you're dusted. You are useless. Cool, okay. Hey, you. Cool. I've assigned him to Crux. He's going to get his stuff repaired. This thing's going to be repaired, and then we're going to be happy, 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 joy, joy. All right, cool. This drone hub's going to be able to go do all these things to get stuff up and running again. Yay. I didn't realize that, like, one of these things malfunctioned, which means everything malfunctioned simultaneously. So, bit of an issue. And now that we're offloading the electronics here, we can actually just load up the rare metals. We've got the fuel here that were brought down by the shuttles, and we can start utilizing that. There's also water right next to this uh, concrete deposit, and I may start having to tap that deposit here in a little bit. Let's pivot back over to this for just a moment. I'm gonna go like here, here. There we go. I don't know why I decided that this would be the fun way to do it, just having this little spoke, this little hub and spoke thing, but uh, I'm kind of on it. All right, so let's do... We gotta figure out how much power this whole thing is gonna need. I'm thinking a couple large wind turbines for that. Resources are low. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Research complete. All right, cryo sleep's done, so now my next load of uh, passengers can be uh, brought up. Okay, and I need my I need a uni depot here. No food, no fuel. Bring you down here. Bring you over here. Okay, I'm getting this sorted. Ramp's almost level, so we're going to have access to the low ground directly from up here now. I'm hoping I can get nano refinement once this guy's built. That's why I've turned off this deposit. And hopefully this thing can actually be usable. 61 there. IMM's no longer doing... Okay, trade wrap. Okay. Go ahead and unpack. Wow, it's just brought over all the stuff we don't need. Love it. Wait, why not polymers? Metals, concrete, rare metals. That's what I want here. Not exotics. 
There it is. Haha. -ha. Okay. We'll put this as the highest priority because I need the drone hub operational first. Actually, these guys would be the high priority. There we go. Hindsight could have brought down a prefab for that. And it looks like the bottomless pit stuff is now on hold. Until I finish it. So let's go ahead and finish it. Alright, from there... I don't even have the microgravity medicine. I've spent so much time in the robotics, the physics trees. I haven't done a lot of work in the other stuff yet. Okay, good. It's going to start uh, laying down the cables, and absolutely, this is going to need a at least one. Resources are low. Uh, MDS. I think it'll go right here because it'll protect the main infrastructure of this. I'm not too worried about this guy or these two being destroyed. It's more protecting the core stuff in this little spoken hub section I've built up. I don't know where this drone is going. There's nothing out here for him. Uh-oh, the experiment. Okay, a scientist barges in your office and says they have an important climate experiment to make. Quick to assure you the experiment, Arthur Pereira reluctantly asks for permission to test within the vicinity of the dome in case they get need to get to shelter very quickly. Um, go ahead, test it near a dome, test it far away, or nothing. I'm going to play it safe because I really don't have the materials to spare on these things. Research complete. I don't know if that was a side effect of that. Was that, was that just a side effect or did it get done? Okay, let's find that underground research lab. Amphitheater, VR workshops. I need to build a TV studio too at some point. Okay. BSE closed that trade route, which is unfortunate. Um, let's actually see if there's anybody else they would talk, anything else they'd be willing to trade. 50 food for 204 is not that great, so we're going to allow some exports with you. Unfortunate. I was really hoping to get that going. Alright, let's head downstairs. Find that facility we're looking for. Underground. Domes. Hospitals. Bottomless pit lab. What? 150 exotic? Well, that's bullshit. Research complete. Uh, okay, that, that's a bit ridiculous. Okay. I was Resources willing to give it credence. Oh, shit. Yeah, you need to get the hell out of here right now. I need to get some people up here. Um, maybe I should have done that food offer. No, wait. They wanted food for money. No, can't do that. Um, we are in... Okay, I did not realize how up shit creek we were right now. Okay, you can head back, but I'm going to send you back once we have some materials. Where's this leak? I'm actually going to salvage those uh, pipes. Ah, can't be broken now if it isn't there. Suck it. Okay. Once Crux 1 is uh, fully loaded, I'm going to send it back to Earth. We'll get a full load of colonists up here and pray and I do not have to go get some food. I didn't realize we were that critically low. This balancing act I've got going on is not going well for me because we've got plenty of rare metals. It's just unfortunate that the markets keep dumping things on us. They keep kind of screwing us over and not letting us get stuff done. Alright, but let's go ahead and get this rocket off. We're pretty close to the 30 minute mark right now, so we'll wrap up here in a moment. Oh, god damn it. 
And there goes all my machine parts, by the way. That dust devil's heading straight into the colony. Okay, just had an earthquake, too. Fox, get out of here before anything else goes wrong. Son of a bitch. I mean, that's most of my power generation. I just got knocked off the line. Oop. Okay, this guy is up and running. That's good. Resources are low. Okay, so these guys are operational. They're producing combined 28 power, which is good. We can use that. I'm just gonna put like requested about 10. Resources are low. Oh, where? Have 10 of these there. Hopefully, we can get the metals, eh, metals needed for all that. Where are you going with this? Okay, he's building the extractors. Sure, why not? Um, this building is out of metals. So yeah, we're in critical trouble right now. But hopefully, we can get this resolved. Not worried about the cave-ins. Yeah. Funding received. There we go. A little bit of cash. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna do a trade. I'm gonna offer up Resources metal are concrete low. for food because I can offer it. Let's see if I have any nibbles on this. Then I'll wrap up the video. Yeah, there we go. BSC. They're going to give us 80 food for 50 concrete. we got plenty of that right now, so we'll go ahead and utilize that. Once this drone hub is built, why the hell are you still putting this stuff here? Thank you. Please work on the thing that need that I've asked you to work on. Also, this could be the issue is that I don't have 39 medals. That's the problem. I need hey hey. All right, so this is definitely one of these. Uh, oh no, it's the consequence of my actions thing. So because I'm so critically low on metals, I cannot build stuff to get me more metals. And I know what I need to do now. Let's turn these guys back on. Because they've already got the concrete. They've already got the machine parts for it. Well, this guy does at least. We put the concrete in play. How about, how about you just build the one that you can build? Funding right here. Received. It's a low quality deposit, but it's got a ton of materials available for it. I'm not going to do any exports right now. Um, next episode, though, molehole mine. Definitely want to get that done up because, yay, infinite materials. I'll take it. I almost want to get, them, at this point, the molehole mine, I think, needs to get done before the Omega Telescope. Because, well, well, this one costs 100 metals and 400 concrete. This costs 400 concrete and 300 metals. And 300 electronics, which, quite frankly, I don't have. I have 7 electronics. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's just bin this project for the moment. That's going to recover some materials and hopefully get things back on path. Oof. Okay. The pit stuff was fun in this video, but I'm really upset with, like, oh, you have to build this damn thing downstairs. Alright, fine. That's going to wrap it up for now, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully, we'll get some of these power faults repaired as well.